And there's another layer to this mystery. Recent research by geophysicists from Sultan Qaboos University in Oman suggests that minor seismic tremors occur in the region, often undetectable by humans. These tectonic movements over time could destabilize subterranean cavities. So imagine this, a crowded desert fort filled with merchants, incense, livestock, a tremor strikes, the ground gives way, walls fall into the void, a sandstorm rolls in, the survivors scatter. The next morning, nothing but dust. It's not hard to see how stories of God's wrath could emerge. Natural disaster or supernatural judgment? Perhaps the two were never as separate as we like to think. When the team at Shizza uncovered stone walls, imported artefacts, and a collapsed tower complex, the media hailed it as a triumph. The lost city of Uba has been found. But many archaeologists and historians urged caution. The truth is, no ancient inscription has ever been found at Shizza that calls it Uba. There are no stone tablets, no temple dedications, no city seals. So is it really Uba or something smaller? Here's where the scholarly debate begins. Many experts believe that Ubar wasn't a single city at all, but a name used in different ways over centuries, a moving target, both in geography and in meaning. Let's break it down. Theory 1. Ubar as a region or trade network. 